Pluto, the mysterious bantam planet living at the external spans of our planetary group, is stirring up excitement within the galactic community. Recent reports indicate a potential encounter with Neptune, raising concerns among researchers and space enthusiasts alike. Prestigious scientists, including Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, have sounded alarms about the possible outcomes of this celestial conflict. But how did Pluto end up on a collision course with its distant neighbor? And what could this astronomical crash mean for us here on Earth? Let's investigate this unfolding event. Once considered a legitimate planet, Pluto was subsequently reclassified as a dwarf planet due to its unusual orbit. Despite this transformation, it continues to charm and engage astronomers. Recent predictions from prominent researchers highlight a worrying proximity between Pluto's orbit and that of Neptune. These scientists warn of a potential collision between the two planets, representing a significant risk to Earth. Pluto's journey around the Sun is marked by its unique characteristics within our nearby solar system. Its orbit spans an impressive 248 years, and since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has yet to complete a full revolution. Adding to its intrigue is the exceptionally elongated shape of its orbit, a departure from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. Moreover, Pluto's orbit is tilted at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane, making its path more extreme compared to other planets. One notable aspect of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's path for approximately 20 years during each orbit. For this period, Pluto travels closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying expectations based on their respective positions in the solar system. So why hasn't a collision occurred between Pluto and Neptune? The explanation lies in the gravitational effects exerted by other planets. The assessment of Pluto's orbit began soon after its discovery, presenting a complex challenge for astronomers. Unlike most planets, whose orbits align closely to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's distinctive features include a steep inclination and an elongated shape. The mystery deepens with the realization that Pluto's orbit crosses that of Neptune. The stability of Pluto's orbit amid these complexities serves as evidence of the intricacies inherent in celestial mechanics. The three-body problem in astronomy involves understanding the movements and gravitational interactions among three celestial bodies, such as Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun. This problem elucidates the intricate interplay of their paths and gravitational forces. Terms like asynchronous libration, inclination libration, and resonance contribute to unraveling this celestial puzzle. Astrophysicists assert that inclination libration, responsible for maintaining planets in their orbits, plays a vital role in the context of Pluto and Neptune. This term denotes that when Pluto intersects Neptune's orbit, it is positioned at least 90 degrees away from Neptune, significantly preventing potential collisions. Inclination libration ensures that when Pluto approaches Neptune or other giant planets, it is arranged entirely above their orbital plane, providing an additional layer of protection against crashes. Resonance explains why Pluto's orbit around the Sun appears unique but remains stable over time. Despite apparent randomness in space, mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that, despite stable properties, Pluto's orbit is actually turbulent, with minor initial deviations leading to significant differences over millions of years. Nevertheless, Pluto's distinctive orbit maintains stability over extraordinarily long timescales, keeping chaos in check. Recent computer simulations have enhanced our understanding of how massive planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's path around the Sun-Neptune's special relationship with Pluto, completing three orbits for every two of Pluto's, significantly contributes to the stability of Pluto's orbit. Additionally, Jupiter's immense gravity exerts a substantial influence, while Saturn's impact, though smaller, also plays a role. Through comprehensive studies, researchers have demonstrated that the combined effects of Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn ensure the safe and stable movement of Pluto in space for billions of years. These phenomena are essential for maintaining order and consistency in celestial movements in the universe. Without these components, the solar system would be prone to greater chaos and instability, potentially leading to crashes or launches from stable ways can cause gradually expanding influences on other heavenly bodies. Pluto's orbit is especially essential in discussions about a potential impact with Neptune in the future. 
This information provides a clearer understanding of the dynamic nature of the solar system. Pluto's case highlights how seemingly unstable orbits can reach harmony through the complicated exchange of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. Continuous observation and investigation of these peculiarities are crucial for gaining a better handle on our position in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often reveals the eccentric nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit serves as a prime illustration of this eccentricity. The concept of orbital disorder strikingly illustrates the delicate dependence of a heavenly body's path on its initial conditions. As demonstrated in Pluto's case, even slight variations in the dwarf planet's position or speed can significantly change its long-term orbit. Programmatic simulations have been instrumental in helping researchers understand how Pluto moves in space. By making small changes in these simulations, space scientists can see how minor adjustments can have a significant impact on Pluto's trajectory. In the late 1980s, these simulations revealed an intriguing aspect of Pluto's path. Despite features like AML and latitude libration contributing to its stability, Pluto's orbit can still exhibit unpredictability. Even a small initial difference in Pluto's position or speed can lead to massive changes in its path over many years. In spite of this inherent chaos, Pluto's orbit remains stable for an exceptionally prolonged period, extending over billions of years. This suggests that beneath its seemingly whimsical appearance, Pluto's journey around the Sun follows an organized order, predicting vast events, particularly with planets like Pluto that have unusual orbits is very challenging. The inherent strangeness of these systems makes long-term forecasts uncertain. Mathematical simulations assist us in understanding and predicting the future paths of celestial bodies. However, they also reveal the limits of our predictive abilities. These models heavily rely on accurate initial conditions and reproduce complex interactions. Even a small error can lead to significantly different outcomes, making precise predictions difficult. The turbulent nature of celestial orbits, such as Pluto's, reminds us of the ever-changing universe. While we have made progress in understanding space, Pluto's case highlights our ongoing limited knowledge. The immensity of interstellar distances and the scarcity of planets in open space act as barriers against regular collisions. Additionally, rogue planets are generally much less studied than the number of stars and planets in stable orbits, making such interactions considerably less likely. Understanding the gravitational effects of giant planets on Pluto's orbit provides significant insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. It shows how each planet's existence and position can influence the stability and trajectory of other bodies in the system. Despite these complicated forces, significant astrophysicists are expressing concerns about a potential impact between Pluto and Neptune. This raises questions about why such a collision which seems unlikely given these many intricate dynamics, is now a subject of concern. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a notable astrophysicist, offers a unique perspective on the mysteries of our solar system, especially regarding Pluto. Tyson, renowned for renaming Pluto as a dwarf planet rather than a full-fledged planet, shares insightful thoughts on how our understanding of celestial mechanics is continually evolving. He sees Pluto's renaming not as a downgrade, but rather as a necessary adjustment to our expanding knowledge about the various objects surrounding the Sun. His approach to celestial mechanics involves continuous learning and adaptation. He perceives the complexities of orbits like Pluto's as indicative of how much more there is to discover in space. Tyson believes that the allure of these questions is what makes cosmology so fascinating. Moreover, Tyson is aware of how space-related events and discoveries influence public interest in cosmology. He thinks events like Pluto's renaming and its surprising orbit are valuable opportunities to capture the public's imagination and interest in the universe. By exploring the dynamic and sometimes irrational aspects of celestial mechanics, Tyson aims to cultivate a deeper understanding and appreciation of the universe. Neil deGrasse Tyson opens a window for the general public to marvel at the wonders and mysteries of the cosmos. Working alongside other researchers, Tyson actively alerts the public about the potential risk of Pluto's erratic path. Following extensive investigations of Pluto, he has raised concerns that the three-body problem could pose a real danger, suggesting that a collision with Neptune is well overdue. Furthermore, 
Tyson emphasizes how such a collision could disrupt the equilibrium of the solar system and lead to disastrous consequences, results stretching out to Earth. A crash between Pluto and Neptune would be an uncommon and disastrous event in our planetary system. This collision would release a huge amount of energy, likely disintegrating Pluto due to its smaller size and icy composition. Debris from the impact could scatter across the solar system, posing potential hazards for other planets and their moons. For Neptune, such an impact could possibly alter its atmosphere and orbit, depending on the specific details of the collision. Michio Kaku, a notable theoretical physicist recognized for his work in string theory and science communication, offers a unique perspective on this scenario. His views on the future of space exploration and the relationship between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics provide profound insights into phenomena like Pluto's orbit. Kaku sees the study of Pluto and its orbit as a glimpse into the future of space exploration. Understanding the complex gravitational interactions and orbital dynamics of celestial bodies like Pluto, according to Kaku, can offer significant insights for future space missions. This knowledge can help navigate the solar system more effectively, predict potential dangers, and plan missions to the outer reaches of our solar system and beyond. Kaku emphasizes that the lessons learned from studying Pluto's orbit can be applied to explore other celestial bodies, providing a framework for approaching and understanding distant worlds. In discussing the physics of planets, Kaku frequently highlights the deep connection between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics. He believes that the movements and interactions of planets, such as the gravitational dance between Pluto and Neptune, are not isolated events, but are linked to fundamental principles of physics. Kaku's work in theoretical physics, particularly in string theory, aims to understand these principles at the most fundamental level. He suggests that examining the intricacies of celestial mechanics, like Pluto's orbit, can yield insights into the fundamental laws of the universe. Like Neil deGrasse Tyson, Kaku has also addressed the potential impact, relating it to his theories about the universe. If Pluto and Neptune were to collide, it would be a significant event in astronomy, offering a unique observational opportunity that could enhance our understanding of string theory. String theory, a theoretical framework that replaces point-like particles with one-dimensional strings, attempts to describe the fundamental forces and matter in the universe. The impact of such magnitude in the solar system could create extreme states of energy and gravity, providing insights into the behavior of fundamental particles and forces under extreme conditions. A key focus in string theory is the gravitational waves generated by the collision, which could provide valuable data for testing predictions of string theory related to gravity and space-time. While the immediate effect on Earth would be negligible due to our distance from the outer solar system, the scientific implications of such an event could be significant, potentially contributing to our understanding of the essential nature of the universe as described by string theory and other areas of theoretical physics. Pluto's orbit serves as a striking example of celestial mechanics exhibiting both stability and chaos within our solar system. The unique characteristics of its orbit, influenced by the gravitational forces of neighboring planets, especially Neptune, highlight the unpredictable and dynamic nature of space. The universe holds countless secrets, and the three-body problem is only one of them. There are other potential catastrophes that researchers anticipate. While the chances of planets colliding in space are very low, it's not entirely impossible. The way planets' orbits are influenced by various factors, including gravitational interactions, is explained by the three-body problem. In some star systems, like TRAPPIST-1, with seven Earth-sized planets, gravitational forces create a rhythmic pattern of orbital resonances over time. These patterns can make planetary orbits less stable, potentially leading to collisions. Despite the crowded nature of systems like TRAPPIST-1, collisions are not currently happening and researchers closely monitor these systems to understand how planets affect each other's orbits, especially when they are in close proximity. This knowledge helps us understand the evolution of planets in space. Rogue planets, drifting through space without orbiting a star, introduce an additional eccentric element. These planets, which were once part of a star system, are ejected due to gravitational disturbances or other cosmic events such as the close passage of another star or dynamic instability in various systems. Over time, these wandering planets can traverse vast distances, 
potentially reaching regions far from their origins. During their solitary journey, there is a possibility of them crossing into other star systems. If one of these rogue planets enters another planetary system, there is a slight chance of a collision with a planet in that system. However, given the vast and overwhelmingly empty nature of space, the likelihood of a rogue planet directly impacting another planet is extremely low. 